Spider-Man, Spider-Man, can't really do what the Muppets can, because the Muppets are so much better. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Muppet Monday. I just got back from vacation, this video might be kind of quick, but I was having some fun with my family and doing the drinky drinks and just relaxing on a boat for a while. There wasn't a lot of internet while I was gone, but I did get to see that there were some new ABC Muppets promos that showed up recently. All of them with the Muppets appearing with ABC stars and trust me when I say they're all really funny. But the most notable one in my book is this one involving Nathan Fillion. It's a behind the scenes look at the Muppets, you know, our personal lives, relationships. <laughs> I couldn't do that. No way. Especially if I was doing a show with my ex. Piggy is your ex, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're broken up. We're totally broken up. Nothing going on there? Yeah. i just wondering. And if you think that wasn't funny enough, it was followed up by this promo. So that's your that's your scene right there. Yeah, it's you, pretty simple. And yeah. Do you, do you want to run it? Do, do you have this memorized already? <laughs> um. Did I not call it last week? Did I not call that Miss Piggy is a slut? And don't think this could possibly be some kind of misunderstanding. The name of the promo is Nathan Fillion hooks up with Miss Piggy. It doesn't get more clear than that. It has gotten all Avenue Q up in here. It has gone beyond the risque adult level that we were expecting. Now when people think of Castle, they're gonna think of this ad. Ah, oh, this is fantastic advertising. And look at Kermit's face. He is clearly shocked and completely at a loss at what's happened just a couple steps away. All you need is a shocking twist sound effect and the moment is complete. Ah. Oh. My goodness, it is about to get real, real in here, guys. So like I mentioned in the last Muppet Monday, the show hasn't even started yet, but we're already starting to get a good idea of the tension that's building up between Kermit and Miss Piggy. Kermit's got a new girlfriend, and Miss Piggy is embracing her single lifestyle, flirting and hooking up with every man in Hollywood now. Either that or she's just doing it to get back at Kermit, but thats it's clearly one or the other. Now, first and foremost, it is a little weird to think of the Muppets as being intimate. Let's, let's use that word. But for argument's sake, let's pretend that they're real people here. This is gonna sound a little weird, but I kind of know what Miss Piggy is going through. Story time! I was in a relationship with someone a while back and I tried really, really hard to make things work, but ultimately it ended up in a breakup. But then watching that person date someone else and get really serious with someone else was one of the hardest and most difficult things I have ever had to deal with. And I feel like I handled that situation pretty well. I did what I could to accept it and to cope with it. And in the end, I probably did the smart thing. I said, look bro, it's been real. You've hurt me in more ways than one. I tried to make things work with you as a friend, but you know what? Love led us here. See what I did there? So guess what? Boom, you're out of my life now. I'm not going to be watching your social media. I'm not going to be contacting you. And I don't want you contacting me because I don't want to be hurt by you anymore. Hashtag I deserve better. There was also a lot of crying and emotional conversations in between all that, but I think you get the idea. And you know what? I did what I could to move on and my life is a lot better now. But what's interesting is that with this series, Miss Piggy and Kermit are doing the exact opposite. There's already been tons and tons and tons of drama between the two over the last couple years. And now they've highlighted that drama even before the show started with these promo ads. And I'm sorry, but you know what? They're probably not handling their breakup very well right now. I know they're fictional characters, but just roll with this. They're continuing to work together and they're claiming that they can be professional, but we already know how that's working out so far. Uh, Piggy, are you okay? Let me get your hands off of me. It's a little too late to show that you care now, don't you think? Oh, You're the one that broke up with me, well, remember? I know, I know, that, that's true. We are true. true, Finito! I have moved on! I mean, don't get me wrong, exes can definitely be professional and work together, but that's not what's happening here, clearly. And Miss Piggy is not just working with her ex, she's also working with his girlfriend, Denise. Kudos to her for being strong, but it all just seems like a big recipe for disaster, hurt, and a lot of emotion. By the way, where the hell has Denise been? Is she gonna throw in anything here? Not to mention, Miss Piggy is already starting to hook up with every man in Hollywood, either because she's trying to make Kermit jealous or she's just trying to deal with the situation as best she can. Now, I don't really wanna delve into my personal life, but again, let's just say 
I understand where she's coming from. Ah, oh, so frustrating. This show might actually be hitting closer to home than I really wanted it to. Now what I do like about all this is that we are subtly starting to focus on Miss Piggy's insecurities. And that hopefully means that she's going to have a really strong character development in this upcoming show. I'm bringing this up because I know I've mentioned this before that I've been really frustrated with how Miss Piggy's character was presented in like the 90s and the early 2000s because she didn't really do a whole lot except for cry and pout and karate chop Kermit. And while in some ways she was showing us her insecurities, it wasn't very funny and we didn't really care that she was there. What really made Miss Piggy funny in the 70s and 80s when she really thrived and what really made her a character was that we got to see a lot of her insecurities even though she was trying to convince everyone, including herself, that she was basically God's greatest creation. But deep down, she really didn't believe that. She was so insecure and that's what made her so relatable. But in the years that followed, her character kind of got pushed aside and I don't know if that's because Frank Oz wasn't as involved anymore, if the writing was different, I don't really know. It wasn't until the 2011 film The Muppets came out that I personally think she became a really, really strong character again. She stood up for herself and she had standards and she had opinions and she still loved Kermit at the end of the day. But now now we're finally going back to focusing on her subtle insecurities in a way that's going to drive the show. We want to see her come out on top, we want to see her win, we want to see her fall in love again. And whether that's with Kermit or someone else, who knows at this point. With her and Kermit breaking up and then Kermit dating someone else basically in front of her, I think she's trying really hard to prove to him and herself and everyone else on the show that she's over it. But we all know that's not really true and she really just wants Kermit back. Possibly. But the point is that we're already starting off strong with her weaknesses. There's likely a lot of anger in her building up and that means that she's gonna be a ticking time bomb just waiting to happen. Ooh, wow, this is gonna be so good. I feel like at some point we're gonna really see her insecurity shine through. There's going to be something more human and even more relatable about her. And that's really the whole point of this series at the end of the day is that we're watching these characters that we genuinely care about but in a really, really close way. I know this is gonna sound cruel but I'm hoping for more suffering and more insecurities in order to make this show go further. Because the same thing goes for Kermit and Fozzie and Gonzo and whoever else they decide to focus on. It's gonna create a lot of really great character development. By the way, we need to see more of them in the promos. We need to see more scandal. We need to see more things that are gonna really gonna make us interested in them. I'm really looking forward to seeing their insecurities and their drama and seeing what drives them in their daily lives. But in a funny and touching way. This is gonna be a comedy series at the end of the day, don't forget. So. We do need those insecurities to create comedy as well as to create drama. Oh wow, this is gonna be such a great balance, just like I like my Muppets. They're fictional characters at the end of the day, please don't think I'm horrible. I mean, I would never actually wish any of this on a real person. But for TV characters, it's okay. Wow. Bill Prady and all those guys really know how to get us all excited about a new adult look of the Muppets. The Muppets are for adults again! Woohoo! Oh, and one more thing. Kermit. Suck. It. If you didn't want her to be with other people, then you should have made things work. Mm -mm. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Doesn't work that way. I could probably go on about this for a while, but I think I've made my point. So let's talk about something else next. <laughs> and hey, Piggy, just calm down, girl. If you need some help, give me a call. We'll go get drinks and we'll discuss the whole thing, okay? I got your back. So those are my thoughts on the new edgy promos that came out this week. Wow, a lot came out from just that one topic. Now my question is, what did you guys think of the new promos? Go ahead and leave your comments below and also be sure to let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to address in the next Muppet Monday. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and my blog channel and I will be back real soon with some more reacts, reviews, and Muppet Mondays. Bye, Adorka